Hello, I'm Mike Brooks. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News. The Oklahoma Employment Security Commission says it's investigating after many unemployment debit cards were disabled over the weekend. Many of the way-to-go debit cards were flagged for fraud, leaving some on unemployment like John Richardson without access to their benefits. He says he's been on the phone for 16 to 20 hours since Saturday trying to speak to someone at the OASC. He says he's not sure why his card would be flagged. It's been in my possession, I mean, unless I've been hacked somehow. Uh, but then again, I can't talk to anybody to, to, to tell me why, why they flagged it. So. Hundreds of people lined up outside the Oklahoma City office yesterday looking for help. OESC says it's reviewing accounts that may have been incorrectly flagged. For more information, you can visit our website at kjrh.com. Tonight is Broken Arrows Tuesday in the Park. Every Tuesday in the month of June, there is a free outdoor music festival. Music starts at 6.30. Live bands get on stage at 7. They end at 9. There's a break between that time for activities and for drawings. The performances will be on the outdoor stage in Central Park. And while you're there, you can certainly stop by some of the local stores and restaurants in the Rose District. Let's get a look at your forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. Thank you so much, Mike. This afternoon, maybe find a pool to beat the heat. Temperatures are going to be climbing in the mid-90s for heat index values in the upper 90s. Your 10-day forecast, more heat tomorrow. Another ozone alert day for our Wednesday, upper 90s. Wednesday, or excuse me, Thursday heading into Friday. Heat index values by the end of the week could be near 105. Then over the weekend, remaining hot for Father's Day, 93. There could be a front that moves in. Heading into Monday right now, about a 30% chance for a shower or storm. And then more heat the middle of next week. Clint, thank you. That's a look at some of the stories making headlines for you today. Of course, stay with 2 News for updates throughout the day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon.